I am Loki of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. Welcome back to the channel. Spoiler alert. In the Loki Season 2 finale, Tom Hiddleston's God of Mischief receives a new moniker that elevates him to the status of a selfless hero deserving of Thor's might and a tragic figure in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Known as the God of Mischief, Loki's magnificent intent has been to cause chaos wherever he travels. However, the Norse God has made a stunning transition to heroism after being taken prisoner by the TVA in Loki Season 1 and vowing to save the multiverse in Loki Season 2. By the end of the Loki Season 2 finale, Loki has not only abandoned his moniker as the God of Mischief in favor of a more charitable one, but he has also elevated himself to a level of worthiness comparable to that of Thor. Loki has taken control of the entire universe by giving up his freedom to preserve every multiverse timeline. Now that he is the protector of the multiverse, Loki might not be able to go back to the various MCU timelines. He has also essentially given up the remainder of his incredibly long lifetime to allow every other MCU character in the multiverse to maintain their ability to choose. Loki has earned himself a new title to go along with his amazing achievement of creating a multiversal version of the Norse world tree Yggdrasil, making him possibly the most powerful and selfless hero in the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's official. Loki is the god of stories. I in Loki Season 2, Episode 6. Loki is seen donning his new attire as the god of stories, close to Yggdrasil, the multiversal world tree. Loki has evolved into the god of time, a greater entity who prevents outside forces from erasing any universe's history, present, or future by arranging and preserving all of the existing timelines. However, because he has prioritized everyone's individual journey over his own, Loki has also evolved into the god of stories. Loki spends what may be the remainder of eternity safeguarding reality because he knows he will not be able to write his own story with in a set timetable or at the TVA. This is done to make sure that everyone else's story is kept alive throughout time and space. Loki is deserving due to his sacrifice. Cast of Loki Season 2 and Thor, Thunder, and Love since Odin sent Thor to Earth for not being deserving of the throne. Worthiness has been a crucial component for the Asgardian people. Since Odin stipulated in 2011's Thor that Thor could only use his Asgardian strength if he merited it, the God of Thunder has made up his mind to uphold his moral principles. Since they were little, Loki Loki, on the other hand, has aspired to be deserving of Thor's authority and respect. But after attempting for several ages to prove his own deservingness through mischief and wickedness, Loki has at last discovered that prioritizing the welfare of others over his own is the key to genuinely becoming deserving. Loki was preoccupied with obtaining the throne, whether it be an actual Asgardian throne or a figurative throne as the king of a humble country such as Earth, until he was taken prisoner by the TVA. He didn't fully get how personal growth, which necessitated a tremendous tremendous deal of hardship and sacrifice, allowed Thor to realize his full potential. The starring version of Loki had the opportunity to reverse his course and make the ultimate sacrifice, emerging as the god of stories, the guardian of time and the multiverse, and a worthy recipient of Mjolnir should he ever get the chance to wield his brother's weapon. Meanwhile, the original Loki in the MCU found redemption far too late. The happy ending to Loki is extremely heartbreaking. Tom Hiddleston at the conclusion of the second season of Loki of course, becoming a hero required more than just a one-time sacrifice. Loki has to give go of a lot of the things he wishes he could keep, much as Thor had to let go of the throne, his house, his family, and Jane Foster. For the first time in his life, Loki felt that he had a real purpose thanks to Sylvie, Mobius, his new life at the TVA, and his other pals. But if Loki truly loves them, he must leave them all behind. Staying with his companions back at the TVA would leave the multiverse without someone to prevent it from collapsing. Even if Loki could prolong the time loom's final moments as much as possible or use his time-slipping powers to reverse the clock eternally. In the Loki Season 2 finale, Loki talks with Mobius, Sylvie, and he who remains and comes to terms with the idea that he will spend eternity by himself. However, he finds satisfaction in the knowledge that his companions can now write their own stories because of his attempts to save reality. That is Loki's beautiful purpose, the reason he was eventually deemed deserving of a kingship he never pursued.